and they've got tanks. Damn it. I'm gonna need some cover. Looks like the enemy have a rolling barrage as well to protect them. Our men do not like the tank. Ah, oh, this is going to get overwhelmed. Welcome to Moist T Gaming. We are playing uh, the Western Front. This should be the final battle in which Germany should surrender. However, they are attacking me from Morfrange. They have 11 regional corps. I don't know if they've got anything else there. I've already been subjected to two attacks from this area already. So Colmar, they attacked me from Saarburg. They've attacked me from, and now they're attacking me again from Morhange. I think this is their last ditch attempt to get me, well, shuffle me back. Because if they get a victory here, then Germany will find the will to keep going. My men will be getting knackered. This will be the third battle that they've had to face. <sighs> the supply probably isn't going to be great. Let's uh, see if we can hold out, shall we? The landscape is looking a little bit battered. Some massive crater holes here. You wouldn't want to be a part of that. It just extends all the way down here. The German side doesn't look as bad to be completely honest it's still full of craters we've actually still got some buildings which are intact looks like an old farmhouse and the fields are still green ours is definitely worse let's uh, set up some basic defenses and attempt to hold this down there's no real natural obstacles which can help me in this so this could be a German victory Hopefully not, because this should be the ending one for the war. Okay, these are the defensives I have set up. We've got all these trenches around here. We have two MG nests and a mortar. More trenches around here to command the command tent. Sorry, guard the command tent. Four sets of artillery, light artillery. That should stop the enemy from firing, hopefully with an extension on the trenches following down here, an observ observation balloon, another MG nest to here for if they decide to come down at this angle, and over here we have quite an isolated um, defensive posture as well. We have two MG nests and a mortar for here. There are less men here, and I suspect that the enemy will try and go for this area as well. As you can see from this bar, two battles in and the men are getting tired so they're running at about 75% morale and need to look after them. The mortar will hopefully stop or at least kill anybody that manages to get into the trenches itself. The MG will hopefully prevent them from getting there in the first place. Two MGs should be plenty. This again, probably going to come from this angle. Hopefully that will be a good enough kill zone for the enemy to get slaughtered in. This area over here I think might be my weak point, but the mortar should cover that in that case. And I think that might be it. If I win this battle, the enemy should surrender and the war will be over. Wish me luck. I'm even going to place a little bit of barbed wire because I still haven't done it yet. So here we go. This is how we are. Defenses are in place. The MG nests are there. The mortars are there. This should prove quite a kill zone. The French looking good in their Attention. blue uniforms. Morale at 75% because they're just absolutely knackered. Let's get the balloon in the air. Put it right back here because I don't know if the enemy has uh, aircraft. I don't know if they have artillery. And I don't know if they've got tanks because I did not do any recon on the area and they just decided to have a right go at me. A big chunk of their supplies just disappeared there. Okay, they have aircraft. 
great. So, I'm going to have to lower my balloon, which will limit my visual prowess in the areas. I cannot lift that balloon up again. They're sending more things. That means they will have bombers. The bombers will probably destroy my emplacements like the MG nest and the mortar. They have balloons in the air so they'll be able to see what I have. And the trenches look quite extensive as well. Maybe a little less so in this direction. Just got to wait for them to arrive and see what happens. I'm going to lift the uh, balloon back up in the air, actually. The planes will come back over, but because this is only a game, the balloon goes up and down like now tomorrow. I'm just going to wait a few seconds. Where are they? Let me know in the comments now what you think of this defensive structure. You think it's pretty solid? Obviously, it could do with a lot more things like barbed wire, and I mean, I've got a little bit there, but that's it, just to try and stop them from running around this end. But what do you think? I used all the supplies I could, to be fair, and it's the first time there's been a battle from this direction on this hex, so there's nothing that's been permanently there for too long. More aircraft. I keep trying to get rid of my balloon. But each time they do that, they'll use around 90 supplies for fuel and ammunition for those things. And while the balloon is down, it cannot be taken down. Here they come. Oh, and they've got tanks. Damn it. I'm going to need some cover. Looks like the enemy have a rolling barrage as well to protect them. Our men do not like the tank. Ah, oh, this is going to get overwhelmed. Being suppressed. Come on, lads. And they've got the bombers. Damn it, they really are coming. I may actually lose this. Try and get those men out of there. They're still holding on. Well, they are coming. I'm glad I put a third line down here now. The mortar's gone. We may yet hold this. We're going to have to get more men in and replace the losses. We need to get those out of there. Move these men back up here. Surely they won't be able to repeat that. Tenez-vous prêt. Sur la ligne. Attention. En position de tir. Attention. En position de tir. I certainly hope not, because that was dangerous. On a de nouveaux ordres. Préparez-vous à tirer. They actually got through the lines there. Two tanks. Lots of infantry. The MG nest is gone, and so is the. Oh, they've given up. Ha. <laughs> okay. So they had a bow at it. And blew it. This should be the end of the war. Let's find out. A battle over. There we go. We got a great victory. The AI, well, the enemy thought they could win that. Three attacks from three different directions have proven to be not enough to break through the lines. They lost three and a half thousand men. I lost 600. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Great victory. 
The morale is about to drop to the floor. Finally, the guns fell silent on the Western Front. The German offensive had collapsed under the weight of its own ambition and the combined might of the Allied nations. Its people were starving, its navy in revolt. Germany could no longer support a war of such attrition. The map of the world was to be divided among the victors. New nations would emerge. France would have its revenge and Britain the dismantling of the German Navy, in doing so, setting the stage for the next 100 years. Many would strive for a long-lasting peace so that no war of such devastating scale should ever exist again. Yet, with great sorrow, history would tell a different story. Some moving video there, and audio. I hope you enjoyed this. We have completed the campaign. Thank you very much for sticking around. There will be another episode, actually, and I hope you do subscribe to see that in action soon. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you later. And for those that are interested, this is the final result.